In this lesson for Photoshop Elements 9, we'll create a pretty floral pattern from some downloaded clip art. We're using an image of yellow roses from Dover Publications. Notice in the Layers panel that the background layer is locked. We need to unlock this layer so that we can place our roses against a transparent background. From the Layer menu, choose New and then select Layer from Background. In the New Layer dialog, click OK. Now on the toolbox, select the Magic Wand tool. Set the Tolerance to 25. Choose Anti-Alias and Contiguous, and then click in the white area of your image to select all of the white pixels surrounding the flowers. Notice that there is some white between the stems, and we also want to add those. On the Options bar, click the Add to Selection icon, then click in those two white areas to also add that spot. Then click Refine Edge, feather it by about one pixel, expand it by about 5% to make sure that all of the white is now selected, and then click OK, and then press Delete to delete the white background. You can now remove the selection from the roses. From the Select menu, choose Deselect. Our roses are still too large to make a pattern. From the Image menu, choose Resize, and then choose Image Size. In the Image Size dialog, we want to make a pattern that is a perfect square. And our image is just slightly off that square. So, in the area below, Uncheck Constrain Proportions, make sure that Resample Image is checked, then under the Resample Image drop-down, choose by Cubic Sharper, which is best for reduction. And let's reduce this image to about 200 by 200 pixels, and click OK. We now have an image that's ready to make a pattern. From the Filter menu, choose Other, then choose Offset. The Offset filter will make a seamless pattern for you. The horizontal width should be one-half the width of the image, or 100 pixels. The vertical offset should be one-half the height of the image, or 100 pixels. In the undefined areas, click Wrap Around, then click OK and we now have a pattern that is ready to be saved. From the Edit menu, choose Define Pattern and give it a name. Now to save the pattern, from the Edit menu, choose Preset Manager. And from the Preset Type drop-down, choose Patterns. Notice that all are up our default patterns are shown and also our new floral pattern. Click to select the floral pattern and then choose Save Set. Let's save this as a floral pattern set. And click Done. Let's now see what would happen when we fill an image with our floral pattern. From the File menu, choose New blank file, create a new blank file of any size with a transparent background, and click OK. Let's add a solid color to the background. In the Layers panel, create a new solid color adjustment layer. And let's choose a pale blue as our color. Then, in the Layers panel, Click to create a new layer above the solid color layer, and then choose the Paint Bucket tool. On the Options bar, make sure that Pattern is checked, and then on the right, choose the double arrows and choose Replace Patterns. We're going to replace the patterns that we have there with a new pattern, the Florals pattern that we just created 
and notice that the florals pattern set only has one pattern in it and it's our flowers. Select that one pattern and then click on your image to place the pattern in your image. If you want to change the background colors, click on the layer thumbnail of the solid color layer, choose hue in the dialog box, and then use the sliders to move up and down and choose different color backgrounds depending on hue. We've now created a pattern and placed it on a solid background. In our next video, I'll show you how to create a diagonal pattern instead of a horizontal pattern, and also a more complicated pattern as well.